Hi, welcome back to Festival Bazaar Vendor Video Tutorials. So this is part two of our how to do a bulk import and export. Last video we showed you how to create a dummy listing and now we're going to do the export. So we'll go to bulk, export, and imports. We're going to want to export products and services along with shipping durations, shipping companies, countries, and if you have any existing product stock and SKU, product stock and SKU. Just going to open these up really quickly. So these are all the duration labels that we have in our system. If this column F is deleted, is marked as yes, then that is not available as an option. Only the is deleted no is available as an option. And if you'd like, you can sort this page by column F is deleted and just focus on the no section. If the duration that you're looking for is not listed here, please reach out to us via the contact page of our website and let us know that you'd like to have a shipping duration added. In the same matter, if there's a shipping company that's not available, then please let us know via the contact us page that you'd like a shipping company to be added. Our team usually responds within one and three business days. Now that we've exported our products, we can open it. And if you do not have Excel on your computer, a free alternative is to go to the Google Drive and create a new sheet. You can go to File, Import, Upload, select a file from your computer, import the products, replace spreadsheet. And so you'll notice that this workbook has 10 tabs within it from products all the way to product tags. We won't be talking about specifications, otherwise we'll cover the rest here. Here's our dummy listing. How many listings do you have that you need to import? Let's say that you have eight more. So we're just gonna copy and paste all of those there. And now we're gonna go back and make sure our ID is unique. So 357, 358, Category ID. You can export category IDs from the import export or alternatively you can reference our blog which is a lot cleaner and easier to understand. Our blog title is called product category ID. You can see the clothing, accessories, bath and bod, crystals, flow toys, hoops, poi and staff, home, services, and art. These are our main categories, and within that we have subcategories listed in this third column. Let's say that we are adding tops, women's tops. We'll scroll down to women's tops, and it's 272. Maybe these last two things are bottoms, women's bottoms. So let's go back and see women's bottoms is 267. And again, if there's a category that you think we're missing, please reach out via the Contact Us page and let us know. We also want to make sure that each name and SKU is unique. So I'm just going to make up some. Okay, so we have unique IDs, name, and category. The rest we're not worried about right now. We're just going to do a quick import to create these listings. Now I'm going to go to Download as Microsoft Excel. And then we're going to go into the import tab, select yes, update and or add data, and choose the file, import example. Your action performed successfully. So let's just verify that. We should have eight listings. It's showing as eight listings. They're all active. Right now they don't have any photos because we haven't changed the li dummy listing yet, but everything looks great. So let's go back and do an export. We're gonna do a product and service export again. We could either open up a new sheet and import it, or we could replace this sheet, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'm not expecting anything to change. It should all look, still look exactly the same. So everything looks great. So we have another reference for you, a blog post. It's called Formats and Definitions for Bulk Importing. And this blog has every column for every tab and lets you know whether or not you're filling in information that you've created or if you're choosing information from a dropdown. Once your brand has been approved, you can add it into this column, but not before. Shipping country is where the pieces are shipping from. 
minimum order quantity. If you're a retail vendor, then one is what you want to leave it at. If you're a wholesale vendor, then you'll want to set this at at least two. If you're a retail and wholesale vendor, leave this at one and we'll talk about how to give wholesale discounts later when we get to the quantity discount tab. So subtract stock. Yes or no. Requires shipping. True or false. Track inventory. No or yes. Notify stock level. Zero. If we have track inventory set to yes, subtract stock set to yes, then we can add a number into here, two, five, whatever you'd like. When your stock level reaches this number, you'll automatically be emailed. So for conditions, the options are all services and new products, pre-loved, and upcycled. We can leave these to zero because we're not using calculated shipping, we're using a flat rate shipping charge. But alternatively, besides CM for length class, we also have IN for inch and MM for milliliter. For weight class, we have KG, GM, LVS, OU, LTR, and ML. The meta title will also want to make sure to change. This is the meta title here. Here is the URL, and then this is the meta description. The meta title can match our names. So we'll just go back, copy and paste those. You'll notice in column T that there are no spaces. We use dashes instead of spaces. So each of these should be unique as well. Let's base them off of the name and just go back and replace the spaces with dashes. So for your service vendor, it could be useful to link to a YouTube video featuring your classes, what kind of things you'll teach or what your service is about. For the short and long description, you can copy and paste this information. Information that would be great for these columns would include product material, sizing charts, and if this piece differs from your other pieces policies in regards to shipping duration, processing time, return exchange policies, then you should also include that information here. You could copy and paste your short and long descriptions into your meta description. Just remember that this is what potential buyers see on search results. So try and make sure this is catchy. So in the next column, we have shipping free. No means that there will be an additional cost for shipping. And yes means that shipping price is included in this cost listed here in G. For these two columns, you can add up to three related products or three product add-ons. So next we have the product image tab. Before we set everything to a dummy post, but now let's assign it actual listings. Main image. So this is for when you have multiple images for one listing. Which one do you want to be the main image or cover photo? Since there's only one image for all of these, we can say yes or no, it will automatically update. So special discount. This is a discount that can be either based on a start and end date or can go on forever if these columns are left blank. This is the discounted price. If you have multiple discounts, either overlap with overlapping dates or different price breaks, then you can choose the priority of those discounts with column B. Quantity discount is for wholesale discounts. Let me show you a product page example. This product page has one piece listed at $20. If you buy two or more, they're $12 each, five or more are $10.50 each, and 10 or more are seven each. So I'm gonna show you how to recreate this discount offer in the import sheet. Let's just pick a product ID. Let's say it's for the Cosmic Top 363. The discounts were 10, 5, and 2, 10, 5, 2. Copy that product ID down. And the price for 10, 7, 10, 50, and 12. These um, don't have certain end dates. They can if you'd like, but uh, for just a wholesale listing, let's go with the idea that you want to keep these discounts available at all times. We want to give the highest quantity the first priority. This would ensure that if somebody bought 10 pieces, they're not charged the two piece quantity at $12. They'll be charged the $7. So the higher the quantity, the higher the priority. 
product options. In the dummy listing, I showed you how to add an option for clothing size and color. Those option values are in the next tab over, product option values. So we have small, medium, and large. For other options, you can go back to our blog, formats and definitions for bulk importing, and come down to the options tab. So these are some other options that we have. Measurements, file upload, etc. Value represents the text that will be grayed out in these areas. The required field, yes or no, means that the buyer is required to fill out this information before being able to add the piece to the basket. So certain options that have options value include color options and clothing size. If we want to add all of these clothing size for each of our products, then we can go down here assuming that the quantity is the same and just copy and paste. So now what we'll want to do is go back to our main product page, take our list of items, go to the product options tab first, and we'll do this. This is going to be for clothing size. So all of these will now have the clothing size. They will all be required. And for each of them, the clothing size is going to be small, medium, large, small, medium, large. So now that we've adjusted the options and have quantities for each clothing size option, we'll want to go back and make sure that these quantities total the quantity listed on the products tab. For our dummy posts, we should have 30. And for each other we should have 15. Specifications we can skip and now we can go to product filters and for a full list of our filters go back to our format and definitions for bulk importing. Check out our filters list. We also have a blog specifically for that. So here's our filter list. Our different filter categories include color, specialty, accepts trade, material, wholesale, service settings and you can just copy and paste without the commas and the semicolons. Filter name is eco-friendly. That is a specialty filter. The product we want to do that for is, let's say, all of them. Product shipping rates. Let's say that every product is going to ship to the US. Let's go ahead and copy all of the product IDs again. Maybe the charges are going to be different for each piece, so we won't copy and paste those. Um, and this is something that you'll have to figure out. But assuming that these are all tops and bottoms, they're probably about the same weight and size. So for convenience, I'm going to copy and paste down the charges and additional charges. So for this page, it's important that we sort it by product ID. Some of the other tabs, it doesn't matter, but for this one, it really does. To do that, we just select the whole sheet. We can go to data, sort range. So check that your data has a header row and then we're gonna sort by product ID. Our last tab to talk about is product tags. Again, you can go to our format and definitions for bulk importing blog and check out our tags list. There is also a separate blog for tags list if you just quickly want to check that out there. Tags are searchable in the search bar. They're like hashtags. They make your product just way more visible and you can create your own tag if something isn't already included here. So far, we have tags for specialties, styles, pattern materials, colors, for subcategories, for product attributes, for ships to locations, for made in, and festival tags, along with service listing tags. It's really important that we prioritize ships to tags and your handmade tags. That's because each tag has a URL, and for ships to location tags, as well as handmade tags, we have those URLs linked to our home page. And if you scroll down to the banners, we have banners which link to leather tags and handmade tags. Besides just linking to our home page, we also use these tags as collections to share across our social media marketing as well as email marketing. So tags are really important, guys. Let's make sure to put them in there. I'm gonna make sure that all of our products have a ships to United States tag. Okay, there we go, perfect. Now I'm going to export everything. I don't need to save because this is a Google Sheet and it's constantly saving. 
if you were in Microsoft Excel, it would be a good point to save before doing the import. So download as a Microsoft Excel file. And now I'm gonna go back in to my vendor tent. I'm already in the bulk export import section. I'm gonna go to the import tab. We're gonna leave no, delete all old data before import. So now we'll import this file, import example, import. Your action performed successfully. So let's just verify that. We you notice that the photos aren't showing here in your product and service. However, the photo does show within the listing. So to make sure that the photo is showing, let's just go ahead and view your tent really quick. So there's photos for all but two and double checking the latest export of your products. So it shows that there are six that have a photo and two missing from this list. We have a total of eight products, so everything looks great. Just double checking everything else on our export sheet. So our product option value saved our product options saved, the tags look good, filters, and product shipping. Everything looks great. All right, well, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us via support at festivalbazaar.co, or you can reach out via the contact page, leave a comment here, leave a comment on the blog, DM us, whatever is easy, we'll get back to you. One last thing, make sure to subscribe to all of our Festival Bazaar videos to stay up to date with vendor news.